Hi guys, my name is Kiva and this is DIY with KB. So the Studio McGee show just went live on Netflix and I know we're all binging it. I'm gonna start tonight, but I wanted to do something inspired by her because she is amazing. Her designs are amazing. Of course, she's always sold out at Target and something I've always wanted is that nice fluffy ottoman with straps. But because my color scheme is very black and white, I just was so hesitant to introduce that into my space. So of course, I decided to DIY it in colors that I like. So this is the finished product. We made the pillow, we made the frame, and it's all black and white. I really, really love how it turned out, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So if you wanna learn how to do that, keep on watching. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna say subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check me out on Instagram, at kiva.bren. Also, if you're interested in virtual design sessions with me, I would love to work with you. Just click the link down in my description box. That's where you'll find all the details and you can book a session. Now let's get into today's video. So first, let's go over the materials that we need for today's project. So I definitely did some overkill here. Um, I got everything and you probably don't need some of these things. But of course you need a drill, a hammer, your hot glue gun, your Gorilla Glue hot glue. Everyone is always confused about this. I'm not just using run of the mill hot glue. This is Gorilla Glue hot glue. It's good for everything. Fabric, metal, I don't know, whatever other materials. It's amazing. Then I have some like uh, pillow fill. This is just something I had laying around the house. Then I got some linen pure white fabric because I want my cushion to be pure white. You can get whatever fabric you want. What I normally do is I go into Joanne and I go to the fragment section. So it's always little pieces that someone like bought the whole um, thing of um, and there's some left over and they're always really discounted. We also have these dowels, which Ikea is famous for. That's gonna help give us some stability with the dowels. We don't wanna be able to see any nails or anything like this. So that's gonna help with this. We also need our safety glasses because we're cutting wood, our miter saw, which is on the floor, babe, let them see it. No, like you could have just, <laughs> oh. <laughs> babe's on it. Here's the miter saw. You guys, someone, people are always like, oh, I couldn't have a big saw like that. They're actually really affordable. I will link them down below. Um, and it has really transformed my ability to DIY and they're very intuitive, I promise, I wouldn't lie to you. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna need some dowels. Apparently, I only do products with dowels now, but I'm very happy about it. So I have four one and an eighth by 48 inch dowels. Then I have two seven eighths by 48 inch dowels. And then I have two six foot pieces. I believe this is pine. Let me see. It is one by two by six of pine. You don't need this much. It was overkill and I didn't feel like cutting in the store because there are too many people in there and I didn't want to touch the saw because germs. Um, but I'm going to cut this down to make the slats of the seat. Um, but that's all you need to get started. So the first thing I did is I actually drew out what I was going to do. Babe, can we see my drawing? It's right there to the right. You know, um, I wouldn't <laughs> consider myself to be the best drawer. That's really the best I got but I wrote down everything I needed and how I wanted to cut it. So when I looked on the Studio Mickey information on Target, it said that the dimensions were 20 inches high by 22 inches wide by 16 inches uh, deep. So what I am doing is I'm gonna cut four of the big dowels into 20 inch high legs. Then I'm gonna cut um, one more of those into two by two 22 inch wide ones and then two 16 inch wide ones. Then with the, um, for the lower size, I'm going to use the small dowels, two 22 wide and two 16 inch wide. Um, and then that's just where I'm going to start. I know that was confusing. I will put all of that somewhere. Maybe I'll start doing the thing where I put this stuff on the screen. That seems like way too advanced for me. Um, but we're going to try. So now I'm going to cut my wood and I'm going to do it over here. So I, you know, got this nice bread and now it has to go. But this is going to be my first time using the saw, not on the floor. So I'm really excited about that. So now I am measuring my dowels. I really should just use a tape measure, but what are you gonna do? Last time I'm doing safety goggles with the nice glasses on top. Fun? Yeah, sorry. Babe hates that, but it's the only way that I can actually see best. So my miter saw, let's unlock it. This is a great lesson. I actually only learned this last week. So if you push down and pull this out, it comes up. Thank you, babe. And I didn't put it back on the angle last time because I'm irresponsible. But now we're gonna make our first cuts. She so, called me at work last week. I sure did. I said, babe, <laughs> how do I open the saw? I got it open, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So now I'm lining it up. 
they say measure a million times but only cut once so I'm measuring to make sure everything is in line with my line then I'm just gonna push on the button that's it it's that easy the only scary thing about it is the sound nothing else is you know the problem so I'm gonna stop here and I'm just gonna line these up and this is how I'm gonna cut my other 20 it's really just that simple Make sure that these are exactly uh, in the same place. Yeah, and I'm pushing. What? No. What a perfect time to use a clamp! Give me my new clamps, please. Okay, guys, I've been, they're right there in that bag. The big clamps. Where are these clamps from? Walmart. They're from Walmart. Walmart is the best place for tools if you're a beginner because there's no pros in there looking around for anything. So you can stand there <laughs> looking stupid for as long as you need. So clamps are your friend. This is, you're not going to open it. Oh my. <laughs> Woo hoo! Okay. Now we have clamps. So these are the things that excite me in this day and age. So that says a lot about me and about society. So let's see if I, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can you hold the wood then? I'll open the clamps. I don't know if it's gonna work because it's round. It's not, yeah, okay, it's just not, oh, there you go. Okay. Wow! Guys, okay, come on, come zoom in on my clamps. This is a big deal. So my clamps are gonna hold things steady. Now I don't need Babe anymore, except for I want her help because I love her. But, all right. We're lining everything up. It is aligned perfectly. So Woohoo! We did it! So I've got my two 16 7 8 ones. Um, I've got my two 22 7 8 ones. I got two 22 1 and an eighth ones, two 22 16 ones, and four. 20 1 8 ones so this is all my wood i sanded it down and now we're going to get started with the assembly cutting the holes in the whole nine yards i've messed up all my paintings this is what happens when you work in your entryway let's manifest that one day i have a nice big garage to do these things in but for now the next step now that i've sanded down all my wood we spent some time talking about how we were going to secure this so we'd actually gotten some bits that we thought were going to work but they actually only work if you're going all the way through the wood um, which is not what we want to do. We want to kind of just like meet in the corner. So we're going full blown Ikea and actually it turned out to be a little bit more stable, which I'm happy about. So we're going to use these 5 16th dowel pins. They're literally like $2 and there's 50 in here. And then I'm also going to use my Gorilla Glue hot glue to reinforce as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark one inch down on my big pieces. Let me get them for you actually. <laughs> on the 420s, I'm going to mark one inch down and then I'm gonna mark four inches down. So the one inch down is gonna be where like the top one goes. Maybe I should do there should be two on each of them. Yeah, what is it? I'm not there yet. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. Pause that. <laughs> okay, so we had to regroup because obviously you need um the one leg supports like two sides. So what we are going to do is we're going to do one this way and one that way. And we're not gonna go it as deep in these dowels, we're actually going to go deeper in the side pieces that we're going to use for support. And that doesn't make sense right now. It will make sense in a little bit. I was going to just do an inch, but I feel like an inch is not enough. So let's do two inches down. Okay, so we're really struggling with how to get a straight line on all the dowels all the way around. So I clamped them down to the table. I'm using this as the distance. Um, which I'm pretty sure is two inches, which is great. Um, and I'm doing that to mark this, and then I'm just gonna do another two inches down because that's the easiest way. So I'm just gonna rotate all the dowels using this and then kind of just like do it that way. That is the best way that I feel that I know how to do it without messing everything up. Uh, in hindsight, I should have done this in pencil because if you don't stain this, you're gonna be able to see my pencil marks. I am gonna stain my pen marks. I am gonna stain it, but if you're gonna keep it natural, definitely don't do what I've already done and cannot fix. <laughs> As you see, babe is always here <laughs> to make me feel better about myself. So now I'm just gonna lay it back down, make sure that the level is level. It's one purpose in life, make sure it's doing that. 
with the lines you already drew. And now we're just gonna draw another line down here. Okay, so I made it 90 degrees by taking, putting a peg in my initial hole, rotating it, and then drawing a line and lining this one up. Again, it's all by sight. This one's a little off. She saw when the other one was parallel to the ah! table. Science, math, physics. Okay, so now that we've made the holes for our top pegs, we have all of our um, outer pieces. So we're gonna put pretty deep holes in both sides so that they can all fit in where they need to fit. Does that make sense? Holes yes. on both sides? Yes. yes. Um, it's probably not gonna be ideal to assemble, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just try and do it in the dead center. So I'm just gonna get my drill. Hold for you? Yeah, come hold it for me, babes. She has to put her hair down because she's a fashionista. Maybe stay on that side since I'm left-handed. Thank you. What would I do without you, honey? Nothing. I'd literally just die. So now that all the pegs are in, I'm actually going to add some hot glue into the joints just to stabilize it a little better. Now we need to do the slats going across because if we don't do them, then the pillow is just going to fall through to the floor and we don't want that. So I'm not measuring. I'm just going to mark them. I think I'm going to try and put it in there, right? Or you want me to put it on top? I think it's in. I think yeah, it, it would be better. If you can. I think she does in. So I'm putting one side in and then I'm just going to mark that with that. I'm going to cut it, see if it fits. If it fits, then I'm just going to make them all the same size and then we're gluing them. Yeah. Okay, so I'm cutting four pieces this size, so I'm just going to mark them just like this with a pencil and then cut and then mark again and then cut. Okay, so now we're doing the cushion part and babe is taking the reins on this one. I've made probably two cushions in my life, but that's more than her, so I'm... True. <laughs> let's just get to it. So she wanted to do the measurements, but I said let's just lay it in there and then cut where it feels right. So that's what she's doing. Okay, so we made the pillow and then we made these straps. I, we didn't record how to make them because honestly we argued the entire time about the best way to make a strap. Um, so we made two, I made one, babe made one. Let's not vote on which one is better because mm, I know it would win. It's not me. Okay guys, so we finished making the pillow 
and we just strapped it to here so this is what it looks like it's not strapped on properly because i actually want ours to be black because i want it to fit in better with like our decor so let me just walk around back here so you see i haven't attached these yet they're just like hanging off here um and then this is what it looks like under the pillow so there you see it um and i'm gonna spray paint instead of stain because i don't want the wood grain in it i just want it to be like nice and modern looking and this is the type of thing you could make too and put at the end of the bed and plus i did get pen on it and stuff like that so i want to cover that up okay so this is what it looks like just with a coat of spray paint i'm gonna also paint it by hand because i hate the drip marks that you get from spray paint but it's a really good easy base because it's really hard to cover everything with um you know using a what it is called a brush or whatever i've been losing my words so much recently but i like it obviously way more in black it's gonna fit in our home better okay guys so this is it this is how the ottoman turned out i love it so here i didn't actually end up attaching the straps on both sides because i didn't want that but this is what it looks like underneath and then you have this nice pillow on top that we just made um i really love this it can support the weight of the dog and my feet and that's really all i needed to do if you want it to be more sturdy you can put in nails and more pegs that's something you can definitely do but for what i'm going to use it for is like an actual ottoman it's great i'm so happy with this because i have been obsessed with this studio mcgee ottoman forever but i just couldn't really make it work in my house because of like my color palette so i'm so excited to have diy'd one if you try this out be sure to tag me because i really 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 want to see it so that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check me out on Instagram at kiva.brent. Until next time, have a beautiful day.